Hey everyone, welcome to Neuropod, a channel about all things related to Neuralink. This episode is part two of the April updates, so if you haven't checked out the first part, make sure to go take a look. In this episode, we'll cover quite a bit. First, some hints Elon recently gave about Neuralink helping blind people see again. Also, confirmation the team wants to help with depression and insomnia. Then, Neuralink president Max Hodak shared a product idea. Elon updated us on a slight change for how the link will charge. And next, of course, Neuralink demonstrated they can have a monkey play a video game with just its mind. And we'll share a video with a Stanford professor detailing how this was possible. And last, we'll wrap it up with some Neuralink support from someone you might not expect. In a hint, they're heavily involved in the crypto community. First, I often mention that Neuralink is planning on helping cure a wide variety of neurological disorders. In addition to that, we got confirmation that Neuralink will work on restoring vision for the blind. In a tweet thread, Elon responded to someone asking about help for the visually impaired by saying, quote, absolutely doable, possibly as soon as Neuralink device version 2, highly likely by version 3, unquote. Also, for those of you wondering about specific help for products related to depression or insomnia, Siobhan Zillis, one of the main project directors at Neuralink, responded to one of our viewers' questions. The thread says, Siobhan Zillis, will Neuralink be focused on paralyzed people for the next 10 years, or will we see products on depression and insomnia? Siobhan responded with, quote, we'll absolutely look to help with other conditions in the future, including those. We'll take some re-engineering to move from the cortex to deep brain targets, but it's certainly on the docket, unquote. Next, the president of Neuralink, Max Hodak, shared a product idea. He thinks it'd be cool to have single-cell resolution of the entire body. He goes on to write, quote, The importance of visualization for really clear thinking about complex things is heavily underrated. I would take investing in visualization over investing in AI models basically every time, unquote. Take a look at how cool it is to see these visualizations. It's easy to tell how this information could improve understanding a ton. Maybe Neuralink can help create the brain portion of this product. Next, Elon gave an update on the charging of the link. Kyler asks, quote, does it come with the wireless charging pillow or is that sold separately? And Elon said, comes with wireless charging baseball cap. Now we can contrast this to what he said back in August last year when he said a nightcap would probably work best. So just a slight change there, and here's the big highlight from April. Since you're watching this video, I'll assume you've seen the video of a Neuralink monkey playing a video game with only its mind. But you may not have seen the video of a Stanford professor, Paul Nuyijikin, sharing more details of the demonstration. Here are a couple of the video segments. Neurons in this region modulate their activity with intended hand movement. For example, some might become more active when he moves his hand up, and others when he moves it to the right. So that's not anything surprising uh, for the field. We've known this for decades. But what is very interesting is in the blog piece, they actually show us a, a plot of that tuning profile of all 1,024 channels, uh, presumably in pager. But they, they actually, I'm not sure they actually specify which one. This is very impressive because, because what we have is the larger the sphere, the stronger the depth of modulation, the smaller the sphere, the less important that that electrode is contributing to to the to the tuning. Um, and each this each of these pillars represents you know 16 of the contacts on that on that wire that's implanted. And if you play this video all the way out to the end, they actually then go and co-register it over the piece of brain that is that it's being implanted in um, in in presumably Page's brain. And so. This view is actually really pretty, which shows to us, it's another flex, right? That shows us that they know where every single electrode they're putting in is relative to the surface of the brain. Now, this may not mean, mean this may not be very informative for you, but again, for neuroscientists in the field, you know exactly where this is. I know exactly where this is because this right here is an anatomical landmark that's unmistakable. It's the central sulcus. And anterior to that is Premotor uh, is, is is motor cortex, um, and then premotor cortex would be further anterior to that. This could be right the spur of the arcuate somewhere in this area. It's really hard to tell whether it's this or that, but I'm not going to v- venture too much. What they're clearly in, I need I would need a larger a larger view to see for sure. But what they're clearly do get in is motor cortex, and they're getting lots of modulation here and not so much modulation here. Um, 
And, you know, we've never, I've never seen, you know, a modulation plot with this much density before because we don't have 1,024 channels ever recorded from um, in, in the system. So this, this actually has significant neuroscientific value just as it is. This is a really, in my opinion, um, pretty compelling demonstration of a company that, that, you know, has built brand new hardware from scratch and, and has gotten it working fully implanted wireless rechargeable uh, Bluetooth streaming um, in a primate, which is sort of the last step before you then apply for an FDA ID exemption to conduct your first clinical trial. Uh, assuming this is representative, and I have no reason to believe that it's not, um, and they've done everything you know, carefully, meticulously, have all, they have all their documentation in a, in a row, which of course they, I think they do because they've been very careful. I expect them to be um, to be very close, if not already submitted their FDA ID approval uh, 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 application, and that means that you know if everything if everything tracks as 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 uh, as it would appear, they should be ready to to you know enroll their first participant, uh, the, their first participant with paralysis, um, within the coming year or two. That's that's well within that's well within the timeline. It's a really exciting time for our field because. For the first time in 20 years, we have, you know, we're on the cusp of a new device that might be useful. Uh, it might be that might be, you know, FDA FDA approved for clinical trials um, to to record multiple channels from the brain and uh, and, and multiple neural uh, multiple neurons uh, multi-channel neuron activity from the brain. And it's not just like 100 channels anymore. We're an order of magnitude higher than the Utah Electrode Array. So we're long overdue for for uh, for a step forward, and this is really exciting because. There's tremendous clinical potential for this. There's even tremendous neuroscientific potential for this. You know, I would, I would, I would very much welcome having these types of devices um, available for for research in the in the monkeys that we work with in our group. Um, so I'm I'm very excited to see what what you know that that this that this video came out and there's a lot in here, much of which I wasn't really able to to comment on or only mention in passing. But for an expert in the field, this video represents a pretty big step forward for us. And um, I look forward to seeing. I look forward to seeing the next steps. Thank you for the time. If we needed to add any more credibility to this recap from a clearly qualified professor, the video got support from the Neuralink Twitter page, from Elon Musk, and Dr. Mac McDougall, the company's head neurosurgeon. Elon said, "Great review. Neuralink is open to working with neuroscientists to advance the field." And on a slightly less serious note, Neuralink received some support from Brian Armstrong co-founder and CEO of Coinbase. He wrote, quote, very impressed with latest Neuralink update. This is a big deal, and the future is going to be very exciting, unquote. And it seems to me like Brian and Elon may have chat previously as Tesla used Coinbase for their $1.5 billion Bitcoin purchase back in February. Thanks for listening. Since you've made it this far, we greatly appreciate your support by liking, subscribing, and following us on all their major social platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you really enjoy our videos, we'd also greatly appreciate your support by clicking the join button down below the video or going to patreon.com slash neuropod. Thanks again and hope you join us again for the next episode. <music>